Okay, now I'm going to show how we get this information to the computer. So here's the pulse device, and it's set up right now with the light sensor so it can do the pulse oximeter type thing. Uh, it's being powered by the power supply at 12 volts, and because the swing is so big, swing is about 10 volts peak to peak, if we're going to feed it in the computer we need to drop it down a little bit. My goal is to feed it to the computer with the sound card, and to bring it down to smaller levels I'm using a little potentiometer here. I can spin the knob on the potentiometer and dampen the signal that way. It goes from there through this little wire to a USB sound card. I always use USB sound cards when I make my projects. Um, these are only about one dollar and the reason I like them is because if I do something crazy and if I put a high current through here and I fry the sound card it's not that big a deal. I'm out one dollar. As opposed to hooking it up directly to your computer motherboard uh, I've blown a sound card that way and then it stinks because your whole motherboard sound card doesn't work so I just, as a matter of uh, a rule of thumb, I always use these little sound cards. So it goes on the microphone there. It's going through a USB cable to a computer, and then I have regular sound recording software. Um, so we're going to record a heartbeat signal, and I'll do this by making a new file. And instead of allowing it to go at the full sampling rate, I usually choose a dramatically lower sampling rate. 6,000 means 6,000 data points a second. That's still a lot. Let's drop it down to 1,000. So I'll make a mono signal at 1,000 samples a second, and I'll do it for one minute. Um, I'm also going to turn out the light because this is uh, a little bit sensitive to ambient light, so just to make it a little bit clearer. And I'll put my finger in there. <laughs> I guess I have to click record first. Let's see. Cannot start recording. Hmm, maybe it didn't like the 1,000 hertz. Let's try that. Okay. Huh, well, that worked somehow. Um, I'll put my finger in there and give it a second to equilibrate, and there we go. So now we see pulse coming through. I'll get a little bit of example here. Okay, that should be enough. Turn the light back on. And I'll trim out the interesting part, edit, trim, looks pretty good. Um, and now I will save it as, oh, I have some options here. Hmm, I wonder if I can reduce it. Resample, ah, here we go. So resample at 1,000 data points a second, and now I can save it as a text file. Save as text. Now I'll save it here. I'll call it pulse.txt, and um, now if you look at it here, it's just a list of values. So I can do a couple things with that. If I open up Excel, let's see here. I can just drag it into Excel and graph it that way, make a line graph. So that's pretty cool, but I'm not a really big fan of Excel. Um, what I did is I wrote a quick Python script. This is only three or four lines. It uses PyLab to do some graphing and I use this NumPy to easily work with large arrays, so pretty much I open the file and I turn it into a big list and I ignore the very first line which is that header information then I convert it to an array of float values and then I plot it and then I show the plot. Pretty simple, right? Um, so if I double click it it loads the data and it shows it to me here and I can zoom in on it and pretty clearly see the, uh, see the data. So this is, represents a very easy way to get data off of this little device and into your computer using nothing but a sound card. Uh, a little bit more of an advanced topic I'll hit on right now is uh, see these little up and down oscillations? Those are noise coming from the 60 hertz AC wiring that goes in the wall. So the easiest way to reduce that or eliminate it is go to, to go back in Gold Wave. I wonder if I can open... Ah, I can. So I open the same file uh, and then I can go to Effect, Filter, Low Pass Filter. 
and I'll select low pass filter. I'll cut it off at 40 hertz. We'll say 30 hertz, that should work. Um, and I'll make it very sharp. Okay. That might have helped a little bit. And then also, why not? Oh, that's fine. So now I'll save it as pulse 2. So I'll open up our first one. And now I will do a second one. So that's pulse 1. Here's pulse 2. So this, this is after I work with that filtered setting. So you can see that a lot of the noise has been reduced. If I zoom in on, let's say, the last three there, and the last three here, you can see a lot of that little 60 hertz noise is gone. Uh, and then from here, it's kind of trivial to do things like beat detection and heart rate variability. But again, this is a pretty neat project and a very easy way to get heart information into the computer. Uh, relying heavily on this filtering, it should be trivial to also do ECG and pull that electrical component, actually showing more of a heartbeat electrical <laughs> signal on the computer. Uh, that should be able to be done pretty easily, similarly.